today I'm going to show you how to draw a Scottish Terrier step by step. But before you draw the Scottish Terrier, I want to let you know that I'm going to be using some drawing pencils like these. I'm going to be using a, a 2H, a 2B, and an HB. And I am also going to be using a magic rub eraser. It takes away the darkest charcoal line ever. As soon as you rub it, then the lines completely disappear. So it's going to be good for when we use this, for when we use these pencils. That's all I want to tell you. So now let's get started. First, you can draw a curved rectangle that doesn't end at the side. Just like this. That would be for the head of the Scottish Terrier. And sometimes some people can get the neck a bit too long. So try not to do that. And then you draw two lines, this one line that starts right below the head, and the other line starts right below the, other, the top line. That's for the body. We're going to fix it later. Now you can draw a skinny triangle that doesn't close because you're going to close it like about like at step uh, five. So now, you can draw the neck. The neck starts from here, and goes from here. Now, you can draw the tail, which is just like a curved triangle. Let me make the neck a bit smaller. Okay, now that that's done, then you can make two legs. One leg starts from here, the other leg starts from here. And then you can close your triangle. Now, let's do the ears. They're just going to be like curvy triangles. Kind of like the ones you did when you were doing your tail. Now you can do some lines to mark where the eyes and the nose is going to be. Now you can draw a line from here and the line from here to touch right here and then you can draw one of the other legs that is going to be right next to your Scottish Terrier. Then you do that for the other side. Now you can get started with the pencil drawing. So, if you have one, you can take your 2H and then you can start from where the tail is and go up with the tail. And it's going to be a pre pretty leg. It's going to look pretty pointy. But it's not going to have a sharp edge. Then you can start drawing some fur on that tail. And then you can go over and draw some fur on the bottom line. Like this. The fur is just like bumpy lines. Like if you're going up and down. Now you can go from here, which is going to be just a bit bumpy and but it's going to be straight now there's like some kind of thing right here that's going to be shaded but it's going to be but it's not going to have an open spot right there now let's start from here and go up and over the ears and then you can go 
like right around the ears and you can start from here and then you can shade it just do some light shading because you're going to darken the shading when you do your when you use the HB now you can go over and you stop right about there then you can start from the nose which is going to go right here and then go there and then you can go right here and right here there's going to be some hair so from where your line was you can erase this part to get the hair in and then you can take your 2H and you can draw these lines then from here you can draw you can shade in square that's where the eye are going to be but you're not going to show them because the hair is blocking out the, where you can see them and now you can go right here and you can do the hair but I would recommend to use a 2B for the hair and you can do just like this the hair is pretty easy to do and also if you would like you can oh, you can do the hair like you did with the top of the Scottish Terrier's eye you can do like this but I would recommend you to do my technique so now you can just fix some of the parts that you think might be you might want to fix or you don't like and then you can go over the nose and then you can go down the neck and you can start at the feet you should just do the bumpy lines like you did before then go up now that you're done with that then you can start right from here shade it a bit and then you're going down over here and over the leg now you can shade that in if you want you can use a, an HB which is even darker and you can shade it in you can darken some parts just a bit should look pretty good even if you don't have this you can use like I don't know just some kind of dark pencil now you can do the hair so the leg should be coming up here and then you can shade some hair the hair is easy to shade with an HB And then you're going to use your magic rubby razor if you have one. If you don't, then don't press so hard. To go from here and erase some parts that you don't from the top. You don't need to erase very hard. This magic rubby razor can erase this right for you. 
Now you can go over just a bit. Then you can shade right here. Now, that part that I told you that needs to be shaded, you can use it this to shade it. Just shade it in like a furry little part that goes out and in. And then that's where your shading is supposed to be. Now, if you want, you can darken some of the parts up. And if you don't want to, then that's fine. But one of the things you have to do, I'm giving you no choice unless you don't want to watch the video, then that's fine. <laughs> then you have to fix the hair. The hair should be just like this instead. And then you shade this. Then go down. Then you shade the in a bit. And then you shade this in a bit. And then you can start with the sh your blender. You should shade this part with your take your HB and shade the tail not so much not so like black black but just like grayish yikes then you can eat then you can blend it'll blend down here and then you can use this and you can shade it. Don't make it look much like where, right, like what's right next to you, which is the dark shading. Don't make it look much like that. Now, just go up and down. Don't go side to side, okay? Cause that, cause a dog's hair is up and down. It doesn't matter how clumsy the lines look, cause you're going to blend it, and it's like you're just putting, like you're, it's like you're just putting another layer over those lines, which is not bad. Doing those lines, not so bad, uh, but uh, sometimes I recommend you not to do them. But right now. It's not bad to do this. Now, you can shade about right here. Then you can blend. You can just blend. You can do a circle if you want. Circles are not noticeable. Then you can go up above, over to the head. We'll start from the head, go from right here. You might need a bit more pencil marks. And then, right there, that's fine. Then, you're about to be done. Just need to do a few parts. And I'm not giving you a choice unless you don't want to watch the video, like I said. It'll look better with this. You just need to raise around. The Scottish Terrier. And then you can draw the table line. Or the floor, whatever you want to call it. It could be a table line, it could be the floor. And you can use the shading. And you can shade like this. Ugh. Let me use this pencil. Then you can blend, and that'll be it. Because if you want, you don't have to do this, but it will look better to show that your little Scotty is on the floor, and it's not floating above in the air, flying over clouds. And 
Let me just show it fading away. Let me get it right here. Right here. Right here, and there you go. And you're done with your Scottish Terrier. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you next time.